Mountain Dew. Excuse me. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 hidden adult jokes in popular kids' cartoons. Barry! For this list, we'll be looking at cartoon gags and innuendos that only mature audience could understand. Which joke flew over your head as a kid? Let us know in the comments down below. Hey Mojoholics! For a chance to win cash prizes, play our live daily trivia challenges every day at 3 p.m. and 8 p.m. Eastern only at watchmojo.com slash play. Number 10. Can't get a date. Justice League. Where are Luther and the Humanite? We couldn't pick up their trail. No biggie, it's just two guys. How much trouble can they give us? Even with all the superhero content we get today, the DCAU still holds up. In fact, the writing only gets better with age. That can partly be attributed to innuendos we only now understand. Take this exchange between Hawkgirl and The Flash. As the Scarlet Speedster brags about his heroics, Shaira remarks that women may not be as impressed with his powers. And I had those flames out before the firemen even stepped off their trucks. That's fast. <sighs> Fastest man alive. Which might explain why you can't get a date. Yeah. Hey! Wally may or may have not gotten the hint, but hopefully she reminds him that going slow once in a while might not be so bad. Relax, lady. This will all be over before you know it. Number 9. Some Light Reading – Tiny Toon Adventures The Looney Tunes are beloved for wacky antics that the whole family can enjoy. While they are known for slapstick comedy, there are also more subtle jokes that are just as memorable. And welcome to the Acme University Animation Festival. Tonight, we get off the stage, rabbit! Have some great films! In this episode, Bugs and Daffy watch student films in a university theater. Daffy, however, is more interested in reading a magazine. Bug tries to remove the distraction, only to glance at some pages himself. It's a good bit of silent comedy, but look a little closer and you'll see that their reading material is of the adult variety. The title Play Duck probably won't mean anything to young viewers, but to us, the joke is obvious. I can't take any in the meat, in the meat, I've had enough. Yeah, when it comes to cartoons, us old timers only have a six minute attention span. Number eight, Extra Charge, Dexter's Laboratory. After Dexter kicks Dee Dee out of his lab, he begins to miss her usual antics. In response, he seeks applications for older sisters. Hallelujah. No, sorry. Good luck, though. I don't think it'll work out. <sighs> when can you start? One of the replacements is a blonde bombshell named Candy. She gets the job and does pretty well. But when Dexter asks her to dance, she tells the young man that it'll cost him an extra fee. Dancing? Dancing? Yes, dancing. I'd like to see you dance. Oh, okay, but it's 50 bucks extra. Given her exaggerated proportions, the implications seem to be that she's an exotic dancer. By the end, she leaves Dexter's lab after learning that she's not on a TV show. We hope that she eventually landed on her feet. TV show? This isn't a TV show. I'm a real little boy and this is my lab. I built it. Oh, my agent is so fired. Number 7. How old are you, the Fairly Odd Parent? For a show about wish fulfillment, this joke about growing up is a little dark, but it's still pretty funny. When Timmy finds a small box in the attic, his dad tells him that it's where he stores his dreams for safekeeping. What's this little thing sitting on mom's giant hope chest? That, that's my tiny box of dreams! And then Timmy accidentally drops it. But dad tells him to not worry, as his dreams were already destroyed. Don't worry about it, Timmy. My dreams were shattered years ago. It's a depressing confession. But what he says next is even sadder. When Timmy asks him when his dreams were shattered, his father tries to recall the age of his son. How old are you? The implications here might have flown over our heads as kids. But as adults, we find Mr. Turner's question to be kind of messed up. Number six. The Doctor is in, Rocco's Modern Life. This series from the 90s got away with a lot of suggestive humor. Many of his jokes could only be understood by grown-ups. Hey, hey, where do you think you're going, stud? Take the scene where Rocco visits Dr. Bendova. 
The name obviously is a risque pun, but the joke doesn't stop there. The good doctor then examines his patient using the turn your head and cough method. I need some medicine. Mm -hmm. Let me run some more tests to find the exact problem. Cough, please. <coughs> it's not until later that we learn he wasn't a doctor at all, but an escaped patient with mental health issues. So Rocco essentially just let a complete stranger perform a pretty invasive exam on him. There you go. This should do the trick. And there's one more test to conduct. There's a good chance this plot probably wouldn't make it to air today, but apparently it was just subtle enough to be permitted at the time. Number 5. SpongeBob and the Sea Anemone SpongeBob SquarePants The titular Sponge is known for his innocent shenanigans, but that doesn't stop the writers from putting him in adult scenarios. That's not right. Ah, get it? Not right. In this opening scene, Spongebob watches a sea anemone swaying to some jazz music on the television. He leans in, enjoying the program, but as Gary enters the room, he quickly changes the channel, looking extremely guilty. Gary! Uh, I was just looking for the sports channel, Gary. We're not sure what exactly the anemone was really doing, but given how embarrassed Spongebob looks, it was clearly pretty racy. I'm in the mood, Gary. Number four. Grandpa's Hippie Days, Hey Arnold. This episode of Hey Arnold has our protagonist seeking help with his homework. He asks Grandpa how to do long division, but the latter freaks out, revealing that he never finished elementary school. And long division with decimals is exactly as far as I got when I was a kid before... Before what? Before I quit, Arnold, I... Never finish the fourth grade. Never finish the fourth grade? Arnold tries to motivate him to go back to get his diploma, but Grandpa claims that he lost too many brain cells at Woodstock, the iconic music festival in 1969. I'm too old. I've lost too many brain cells to make it through grade school. You're not too old, Grandpa. And you've still got plenty of brain cells. No, not since Woodstock. You can do it, Grandpa. It's a safe assumption that this involved illicit substances of some kind or another makes us wonder what else Grandpa got up to back in the day. Or maybe we're better off not knowing. What you taking, ladies? Grandpa, where are you going? We're going to sneak into a PG-13 movie. But you're 81. You can get into a PG-13 movie anytime. Number three, not that kind of accident, the Powerpuff Girls. It's pretty surprising that a show that seems so innocent got away with this many sexual overtones. Hey, stop! One of its funniest ones can be found in the episode Super Friends. When the girls make a new friend in Robin, they introduce her to their dad, Professor Utonium. Bubbles explains that Utonium created his three daughters in a lab accident. Why, hello there, Robin. It's very nice to have you as our new neighbor. I'm the professor. Yeah, he made us in his laboratory by accident. Robin then reassures him that she was also unintentionally created. And the look on his face says it all. Don't worry, Professor. I was an accident, too. Your dad is funny. <laughs> this was a pretty unexpected joke about surprise pregnancies. Good luck to the parents trying to explain this one to the kids. Number two, lost control, Rugrats. Kids can't fully understand what adults go through for them. So this joke from the Nickelodeon classic has got to be for them. When the bratty Angelica fakes a broken leg, her uncle Stu looks after her. It's getting kind of stuffy in here again. Could you open my window? Um, that's a little too open. She then grows mad with power and essentially forces him to make her a dessert in the wee hours of the morning, no less. The comedic bit is capped off by a now iconic and relatable line. Why on earth are you making chocolate pudding? Because I've lost control of my life. Miserably getting up late at night to placate a loud and spoiled kid sounds a lot like adulthood, a concept we're sure most of the viewers failed to understand at the time. Angelica's fine. We can bring her down to take the cast off right away. <laughs> Stu, what's the matter? I'm just so happy. <laughs> Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. 
Number one, Fingerprints, Animaniacs. This Warner Brothers cartoon is praised for its family-friendly humor. Adults enjoy it just as much as kids, if not more so. Are you an inspector of the yard? Not if you have a dog. That's due to its satire, pop culture references, and of course, its subtle innuendos. One of its most famous dirty jokes occurs when Yakko tells Dot to look for Prince. Number one sister, dust for Prince. She somehow retrieves for him the late and great musician Prince. I found Prince! Yakko then reiterates the request, emphasizing the finger and fingerprints, which Dot politely refuses to do. No, 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 fingerprints. I don't think so. If you don't get it by now, then you are probably too young to. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.